thank you so much for such a safe journey. Thank you that we can be here as your family to explore this part of your world. And Father, we pray that as we are exploring here, we would grow in our love and understanding of you and of your son. We pray that you'd help us to understand your word better. We ask these things in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You can see that the landscape has changed very quickly, hasn't it? We're in that big flat plain, and uh, now we're making our way up, up, up into the hills. Um, and uh, whichever direction you approach Jerusalem from, you end up going up. Because Jerusalem's up in the hills, it's uh, a good 700 meters above sea level. And so it's quite a climb to get there. And that's why the Psalms, the songs they used to sing as they went up to Jerusalem. Psalm 121, a song of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. Indeed, he who slum watches over you, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Psalmi šiptas dvidešimt pirma. Aš pakeliu savo akis į galvus, iš kur man ateina pagalba. Mano pagalba ateina iš viešvadės, kuris sukūrė dankų ir žedą. Jis neleisiu klupti tavarį į kojį, jis kudrus tavo sargas. Jis rendėl sargas nei miega, nei snaudžia. Viešpats yra tavo sargas. Viešpats tau šišėlis, tavo dešinėje. Vieną nepažeist tave saulė, nemenulis naktį. Vieš pat saugos tave nuo viso pikto, jis saugos tavo sielą. Vieš pat saugos tavo jėjimą ir išėjimą dabar ir per amžius. Džiaugiausi, kai jie man pasakė, eikime į vieš paties namos. Mūsų kojo stovės tavo Jeruzalė vartuose. Jeruzalė tvirtai pastatytas mieste. Į jį traukia vieš paties gyminės pagal Izraelio įstatymą dėkoti vieš pačiai, nes teisėjų sostai ir Dovido namų sostas čia stovi. Pelskite taikos Jeruzaliai, kurie tave myli, turės sėkmę. Tebūna taika visam miestui, gerovė jo rūmuose. Savo broliu ir draugų labui sakau, tebūna tavyje taika. Meldžiu daug gerovės dėl viešpatės mūsų dievo namų. Ahead of us we can see the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. Ir mes priešiais matome Jeruzalės sienas, sienas. Built in 1536 by Suleiman the Magnificent. And uh, we're going to be staying just, um, the, just along here, very close to the old city. Uh, Jerusalem is a very different sort of city. It's a very in-your-face, full of energy city. And it's a fascinating city, and I really like it. I hope you enjoy it too. So we're in this big quarry, we've already said, with the hill that would have gone over that way, but they dug out um, uh, stones to build uh, the great buildings of Jerusalem. And behind me there's a cave that goes back 200 meters. Uh, it's got a big high ceiling. Uh, it, it, it's as big as a cathedral, some of the areas in there, it's amazing. And it's all man-made. It's all been quarried out. 
Ir tai buvo iškelta. With chisels and hammers. Su šitais kaltukais. It's all very straight lines. Ir lygiai viskas padaryta. And it seems that it's the place where Solomon got ir, the stones to build the first temple. Ir tai gali būti vieta, kur Salamonas ruošė pirmus akmenis, kada šventiklai ruošė. Because 1 Kings chapter 6 tells us that when Solomon dressed the stones for the temple, when he got them shaped. Nes pirmas karaliaus šeštam skirai rašo, kad kada Salamonas aptašė tuos baruošė akmenis šventiklai. No sound was heard up on the temple mount. Nebuvo garso girdėti šventikloje. Because they were being carefully dressed in this underground quarry. Nes jie buvo laikomi čia papašė. Cool, eh? Cool. And the reason it goes back this way is because you've got this special sort of limestone down there called Melake limestone. Melake. Melake limestone. And um, personally love that. King Solomon, King Herod. We'll see what King Herod did with it in a few minutes. Ir mes matysim, čia buvo karalius Salamonas. Mes matysim, ką karalius Herodas padarė. Well, guys, welcome to the city gates. Um, I don't know if you've ever read through um, books like Proverbs or Job, and it talks a lot about the city gate, doesn't it? Yeah. So Job takes a special seat in the city gate, dispenses justice in the city gate, defends the widows in the city gate. Um, Proverbs says if you've got lots of sons, you won't be shamed. Um, at the city gate, um, so the city gate's a really important place. And for us in England, we think, what is that about? You know, a gate is just goes like this and like that. But this is what a gate's like. There's people everywhere. People are coming in and out. People are selling stuff. People are doing deals. And in, and in biblical times, the elders, the kind of leaders of the community, would have been sitting here um, as well. Um, so for Lithuanians, come and stand next to Teresa. So if you stand next to Teresa and you're right to talk to her. Brilliant. So um, now this gate is only 500 years old. But the way we go back in time here is we go down. Because the city's built. And then someone comes along and they destroy the city. And a new city's built on top of that. And then that city's destroyed. And a new city's built on top. And so if you want to find the old city, you've got to go into the foundations. And some places you get like a layer cake of cities. So at Megiddo, there's 21 cities on top of each other. And here in Jerusalem, we look below this gate. And can you see another gate? See that little gate down there with a curved top? That gate is 1400 years older. That gate dates right back to the Roman times. Not quite to the time of Jesus. It dates to 100 years after Jesus. In um, 70 AD, the Jews rebelled against Rome and the Romans destroyed the city. Then it was rebuilt. And in 132 they rebelled again. It was destroyed again. And in 135 it was rebuilt. And that's the gate of that city, so 100 years after Jesus. Does that make sense? And um, so it shows us that this is where the Damascus Gate has always been. It's the Damascus Gate because Damascus is that way. So you'd come out of it and go to Damascus. And so Saul came out of Jerusalem breathing murderous threats against the Christians to go to Damascus and put them in prison. And this is the way he would have come out. Does that make sense? So we're getting back close to the time of Jesus now. But we're going to go into the city. 
Tegi mes eisim į miestą. And we're going to get really close to the time of Jesus. Ir mes eisim labai... This way. It's from the Temple Mount. Um, only uh, Muslims are allowed in through this route, the Temple Mount. Um, it's one of the gates. Only Muslims are allowed in through that. 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 Only Muslims are allowed in through that.
what is this? Is it a church? And they pray, they are praying, so they're Jewish. Um, and this is the Western Wall. So Solomon built the temple, um, and then it's torn down by the Babylonians. Rebuilt under the preaching of Haggai and Zechariah by Zerubbabel. Is it And then um, it was ex massively expanded by King Herod the Great. At the sort of time that Jesus was around. But Herod didn't just expand the temple. He expanded the hill that the temple was on. So here's the hill. He built walls around the hill. Filled them with earth. To build a big a uh, 20 acre space at the top of the hill and um, and then these big walls holding up and then on top he built the temple and the Romans pulled down the temple and they pulled down the walls around the temple but they didn't pull down these walls that held up the earth does that make sense? And so down here, um, down at, kind of, at the top you can see little stones, and then some slightly bigger stones, and then down the bottom some huge stones. And those stones are from the time of Jesus. So you can see why Jesus' disciples said, look teacher, what magnificent stones. And for Jewish people, it's the most holy place you can come. Because they, they say you can't go up on the Temple Mount because you might walk into the Holy of Holies and get struck down. But um, this wall would be the closest place to the Holy of Holies without going up on the top. Because the temple faced east that way towards the Mount of Olives. And the most holy place was in the back of the temple. So the closest you can get to it without going up there is this wall down here. Does that make sense? The biggest stones are from the time of Jesus. Yeah. Yes. So the biggest stone they found weighs about 540 tons. And so people from a Jewish background, many of them believe that God's spirit is still up there. But we believe, of course, that God lives in his people. And the church is the temple of God. But that's why people come here to pray. And so men can go down this side. Ladies down this side. <laughs> but, 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 but men must put a skull cap on. A hat on. Your hat's all right. Sing 
הקדוש ברוך תוכל להם.